Hey techies, Anthony from Hashesnet here and uh, today we're going to take another crack at upgrading the uh, Dell uh, Inspiron that I have and uh, last time we did upgrade the memory and it run pretty well actually but it could be better. Now um, for anybody who doesn't know I've upgraded computers for a number of people uh, and this one's no different. Of course, I did the RAM upgrade to the max of 16 gigs, and this time we're going to an SSD drive. Now, there is a classic, you know, disk-based hard drive in there. Uh, it's a one terabyte, but I've never used more than maybe 250 gigs, so this should be more than enough. I don't use this for gaming. I use it for productivity. So, you know, why the heck not? And so I'm going to skip some things like I, I'm going to take a couple screws out you can see me pop a couple of uh, tabs I'm not going to show the, the full thing to you if you want to see a more complicated more bloody version of that go go watch the memory upgrade so um, just a note so of course I run Windows 10 this computer came with Windows 7 back in 2017 or whatever it was and of course upgrading you get a digital license which is basically you log into the the website for Microsoft Windows and you get approved so I don't have to worry about keys which is great so uh, let's get started and uh, of course today I will be using my iFixit toolkit and uh, so I'm going to be using a Philips Zero which uh, yeah right here I don't know how you can see that uh, a little too glary um, so I'm going to match it all up into the tray here and, um, and that's how we're pretty much going to get this done so um, let's start it in the corner here, and as I said, I will skip past all this stuff. You don't want to have to watch it all, and uh, you know, and then and then we'll show you a couple popping uh, little uh, clips, and uh, and uh, I'll show you the inside. Nothing too fancy. So here is the insides. Uh, we've seen them before. Uh, I believe this was over here last time. So one of the things I should note is uh, trying to pull this out. The front end came off. Actually, a tab is broken. But you know, this is a this is a fairly old computer. I mean, 2017, I believe. So you know, it goes back into place and, and it'll still eject because you know it's still there. But one tab's broken. So whatever you're gonna do, you you know. And of course, I got the bottom off, so we, we know that's been done. And this is the hard drive. It's a two and a half inch uh, terabyte. And uh, as you see, there's screws in three places. And of course, there's a couple of ribbons, so we gotta be very careful about it. Now, my understanding is the screws are the same size as everything else, which is a Philips Zero. And here it goes. Okay, so far so good. Just, uh, Yep, and even marked like the other ones are. Um, let's stick this in the tray a little bit away from the other ones. And uh, I don't think there's any glue or anything, but I think it's contained in a small, like, uh, case of some type, uh, you know, mount or bracket to keep it in place, which I think is what I'm unscrewing. And uh, let me continue doing that. Okay, now I don't think there's anything else yet. So there we go. And here, yeah, so here it is. No, I guess it was just the one cable. So I need to grab. But I. Can I just pull it out with my hand? So this is like, um. Yeah, there we go. The SATA cable plugged in there. Okay, can't get that wrong. But, uh, yeah, so I need to take the bracket off, which I'll do off camera because it's going to be tedious, but I suppose. Yep, so also a Phillips Zero. So we got the screws out, and um, I'm not quite sure how this bracket is on here. Ah, I see. Okay, so hard drive right here. And the bracket has this piece of plastic. Well, that's weird. Okay, I see. And, uh, okay. So we just gotta remember 
that's the way we need the thing to go back in. So we'll open this up and uh, we'll see how that works. So here is the new hard drive uh, removed before installation. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's just uh, yep. Okay, cool. Okay, so based on how the SATA cable is in here, as you see, uh, looks like we will install this the other way, and uh, then I'll attach it like this. So that means that'll be in the case like this. And uh, so we'll do that real quick. Okay, so we got the case screwed in. That was easy enough. There's actually a lot more space here, so maybe even cooler you know, per se, because I mean, um, the processor and all that stuff is like around here. So I mean, screen under your keyboard. Um, so I guess I'm not really worried about heat per se. Well, I'm gonna keep saying per se, but uh, yeah, so I should be able to just slide this on. Easy enough. And then drop it into there and uh, and then screw it in again Philip zero now uh, you may be asking how I am installing the operating system which we're not going to see it's just not going to happen but I, I did download the Windows uh, driver onto the um, thumb drive there and uh, graciously provided by Micro Center oops because um, they run campaigns where you get like free storage media on occasion so it was it was nifty and final screw for this thing and uh, hopefully like my mom's brothers and aunt's computers uh, this one will run like butter um, as it is a productivity computer pretty much like theirs are Again, 500 gigabytes is ample enough in size, and uh, it seems like it's in there. It's good, and then we can snap it together and uh, just making sure the battery is not bulging in any way. It's not. It still keeps the charge surprisingly. So yeah, um, and of course, again, the old one. Nice brick. Tell me in the comments your thoughts in this video. Did you like what you saw, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.